everybody. Hope you're staying warm today. I'm out here with some chicks in the field. It's um, out on the farm, farm life. So it's gonna get cold tonight. So the coop that I have for them has plenty of airflow for summertime. And I'm out here trying to close it up a little bit for winter time. So I've got these panels here that are just this uh, hardware cloth, half inch hardware cloth. Yeah, half inch. And I want to close it up with some more plastic like what's back here. So I've got my sheet out in front of me. I've got my pliers making the cuts. We'll see how good of a job I do, but um, it's cold. I'm ready to get inside. So I've got working on the first one here. We'll see how it goes. I'll update you uh, when I got it done. Alright, so yeah, it's going. Um, got my first panel cut. Looks terrible. Not quite straight cuts. Should be something like this. Got my angle wrong at the bottom somehow. I don't really care and I don't think these chicks are going to mind. So it's I can lower it down, a little nasty up top, lower it down, screw it in place. It's going to do what I need it to do to block 90% of the wind from this direction. I'll go around to the other side, do the same thing, and I'm going to replace those two front panels. We'll shut the door tonight, lock them in it, and there'll be a breeze on the bottom, but it should prevent most of the wind from coming through. So I'm going to get it done before it gets dark. By the way, I don't do this for you guys. I do this for Julie so she knows I'm not just out here drinking in the workshop or something. Good night. All right, part two. Um, out here actually moving the chickens today. I'm getting them a little closer to the workshop, which is providing a little bit of a wind break. You can probably still hear the wind. So let's see how I did last night while I was drinking and working. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, back up a little bit so I knew it wasn't gonna cover the uh, the little triangle at the bottom but I got them on got my two new panels on the front door closed bar for moving and the other side the other side looks a little better but uh, still not great anyway that's what happens when you work in the dark you wait till the last minute and you're out of town for a month and can't get these things done in advance. Anyway, hope everybody's having a great day. It's cold, but not as windy. Um, just getting ready for the next few days. It's gonna be an Arctic blast of some kind. Um, don't really watch the news or anything. So again, last minute work, but have a wonderful Saturday. Here's another pro tip. Um, when it gets this cold, and you got cows and water hoses, they freeze. But these don't. These are hydrants. And the valve is actually down in the ground. This, by the way, if you're from up north, you already know all this. But for my Texas friends, these are not easy to find. They don't normally keep them in stock anywhere. So you gotta order them. But if you're putting in water lines, or if you, um, break some in the next couple days, replace them with these. It's a lot more work to get it drilled down, I mean, uh, dug out down to where the pipe is. But the valve is in the ground, so it doesn't freeze because the ground doesn't freeze here. Although in the next few days we might, I don't know, get an inch of frozen ground, whatever. We'll see. But they work. It's in the 20s here right now. And it's great have a great day you know it's cold when every time you walk outside your cows start bellering at you but when you go to get your minerals you break a sheet of ice on the plastic they're so cold. It's so cold. 
in its wind. They're almost out of hay, so I'll be moving them today. Just filled up their water. Hasn't, hasn't frozen up yet, so everything's looking good. They want some feed. We only give alfalfa pellets, but they uh, they really look forward to it. Man, they're cold. All right, I'm going inside. Well, everybody, we made it through the night. Chickens are all bundled up. It is freezing cold. It's gonna be a short video because my hand is freezing. Got some feet out for them. Seem to have made it. I'm just gonna take a quick peek in here. Everybody's alive. Live and happy. Water is another story. I'll have to do something about that in a bit. Food first. Warmth. Alright, good day. Alright, so it's probably a rough night for everybody, but I think the cows may have had it worse. Worst of all, anyway. I went ahead and fed them this morning so they had something. Dang. Icicles on the ears, buddy. Oh, that's rough. Y'all had a cold night. I'm gonna feed them a couple of times today. Dang. That is so cold. Alright, I'm gonna bust up their water trough. My hand is freezing. It's uh, the porch thermometer says it's 12 degrees outside. So coldest I've ever been in Texas for sure. Uh, Y'all stay warm. All right, it's all about the small winds, right? So I was able to start. Well, first off, we haven't had electricity uh, more than 20 minutes this morning. So um, keeping the animals watered has been the biggest chore. Um, our well isn't working with with no electricity. I have a small generator that's keeping space heaters going in the house. I'm gonna move the phone here out of the out of the wind. Um, staying warm ourselves is important, but keeping the animals warm and fed and watered watered mostly is the the big thing. They'll they'll just get exponentially cold without it. So <clears throat> I started a little fire in the workshop here. I'll I'll show you that in a minute. That was a chore with the with the wet wood, but. Um, I used the fire to uh, heat the water just by holding the galvanized can on it. And it looks like the chickens were, were thirsty. Um, I'm going to slide it in there a little further to try to keep it warmer longer. But the, the old gals uh, didn't really touch their food this morning. I see some fresh poop on top. So at least a couple of them got out right after I poured it. But, um, yeah, so I'll show you the fire next. All right, we're in the workshop now. Got my fire roaring. Sorry for the wind. It's uh, still open. I haven't closed in from the old, old door still. So I'm going to put the concrete down, but you can see the snow just blew right in last night. So we got little makeshift windbreak here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, along with all the, of course, the junk in the workshop. But anyway, that's the fire that's uh, going to keep things warm. Where is it? There it is. That's the fire that's going to keep things warm and uh, water thaw, of course. Got to keep going. Okay, like I said, uh, water is the name of the game. Uh, especially when the electricity is going out and things can't stay right. So here's, um, I'm, we're inside the pump house now, so we keep our freezers and stuff in here. But um, most importantly, I've got our chick heat lamps, the electrical cords off of them. So we've got the heat lamps going, trying to keep our tank semi-warm and our pipes uh, semi-warm. So it's, it's not, heating them, but it's definitely keeping them above freezing. Um, all our spigots outside are frozen. I haven't checked the hydrants. I'm trying to leave them as long as possible, just in case. Um, so I, I haven't messed with those, but this is definitely keeping water going to the house. Um, 
anyone's an inspector, don't don't look at the wiring. I had this checked out when we moved in, so it should be okay because I haven't touched it. But anyway, uh, keeping the the tank pressure tank not freezing. I won't say warm, but not freezing is good. And um, you might be able to hear the little generator in the background. It's just uh, a small inverter that's running these lamps and um, the uh, small space heaters we have in the house. And that's all we have for heat. Um, doing okay. <clears throat> Hope everybody else is too. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is uh, before this all started, we, we filled up freezers with water, or coolers with water. So this is a good way to keep water um, from freezing on you. I also filled up some five gallon buckets. There is, they have started to ice up. This is more than there was before. But if I needed to, um, I could dump these out. I see a little air bubble there. Yeah, so there's water right under the surface. So crack the surface and, and then I have more water for the chickens and all uh, without the electricity running for the, for the well. Um, and then when the power is coming back on, we run it run it, run it, run it, so that the, the well out of, in, coming out of the ground and then flushing through the tank and pipes is just every time the power kicks on, we, we run it for at least 15 minutes and then use it as we can. Um, so just a few tips. This is what we're doing. I hope this helps others. I know we're kind of in the middle of it, but this is uh, just the, the prep work we've been doing. and. Um, I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody's animals are safe. And um, I wish you the best. I'll, I'll keep posting. Uh, when the internet comes on, I'll, I'll post. But anyway, y'all have a good one. is going down already down over the horizon lots of snow still on the ground lots of hungry cows still most of the icicles are gone now but they still have some it's still cold and it's gonna get colder tonight um, we have lost water here um, the pipes are now frozen um, so hopefully they don't burst, we'll leave them open, but I think whatever damage is done is probably already done. Um, we just went too long without power, and we were unable to, to flow enough water through the pipes um, for, for too long of a period. So it is what it is. I showed you our water stocks already. I know you're going to want to see you see the guys. They're eating their alfalfa pellets. Like I said, it's just a snack, but it gets them through when things are really cold. So. All right, everybody. Um, we're going to pack it in for the night. Uh, be coming out quite a bit to check on the animals, but they should be in a little better spot now out of the wind. So we'll just see.
Yeah. Skiing seven pack cows farm 2021. River's first ski lesson, and he never left the farm. You can do it, buddy. <laughs> we need to duct tape your cowboy boots to the skis. That's what we need to do. Does that sound good? Yes. <laughs> Good job. Good job. All right, I've been working on the water all morning. Finally got water flowing at the horse barn. Um, and I just saw, I was starting to get worried that I was just draining the pressure out of the tank here. So I came into the pump house and uh, I watched it go from about 47 psi up to 51 psi and then while I'm in here I just started hearing it I guess that's refilling um, from the pump so or yeah from the from the actual well so things are moving we're uh, we're getting water going now um, hopefully we can keep it going with um, or maybe that was water breaking loose at the house or something so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Water and put it in a jar. So this little baby bass jumped out of the hole I just put in the pond. So the pond is is frozen. It's only like a half inch layer. So I'm going to put this little dude back in. Well, I wanted to... We're not going to keep him, River. We want him to live. So we're going to reintroduce him. There he goes. He just swam away. Daddy, I'm on the ice. Don't do that with your boots on, son. All right, so we made a snowball. I'm gonna toss it on the frozen pond here. We'll see how far it goes, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. So satisfying. We did see a little baby bass. We did. You still filming? You still filming? Yeah. Here we go. Try to make this one go a little farther. So funny. Cool. Thank you, son. All right, good news. Water is back on. We got water, we got electricity for the water. Um, life is good. And that means not just, uh, we got two, two water systems. There's one for the, for the animals and there's one for the house. They both run off the same water well, the same pump, um, but they were both frozen separate from each other. So uh, the animal's water came up first and because of the troughs and not having to bust up and having to replenish the water for the, the cattle trough from a spigot that uh, is frozen solid still. Um, I've been boiling water. So I take a couple gallons at a time and I boil it here off this fire. Real good. Almost back to normal. I hope everyone is able to stay warm and get the electricity turned back on wherever you're at. Um, we're praying for you. This has been rough. Uh, it's been a lot of work. There's a lot of preparation that went into 
keeping things going and definitely took a lot of notes. Uh, there was a lot of lessons learned here, so things will go smoother in the future for the next round. It only seems to be getting colder every year. I think last year, the year before, it got down to 16 for a few hours here. We did not freeze then, but uh, we did freeze because of the power loss this time. So um, anyway, I think we're through the, the hard part. Uh, we'll see if the rolling blackouts get us, but uh, we'll see. All right, we're driving up the road to Blackwood, trying to help them out with their chickens. See, they've got, should have done this before, sorry guys. Their pond is partially frozen. Let's see, where they have their uh, water going, their aeration, it's not frozen, but it is on the edges. Cold temperatures. All right, we're gonna check things out. Help them with their birds. So River just put out a little bit of feed for them. They all seem to be here doing fine. Good looking birds, happy birds. No scruffy birds. That's just a steady drip right at the roof line where it hits the porch here. Water is landing right here. All the snow has melted on top. Porch is covered. It's nowhere near as cold today. It's only like freezing or just above. But it is raining. It's a nasty mess. Not sure what you can see, but just coming down. So everything is melting and it's gonna freeze again. I don't know, today, night, whatever. The roads will be horrible. So see how it goes. Stay tuned. But all the animals seem okay. The chickens made it just fine. They're outside the coop eating, drinking. The cows are out eating hay. So things are moving. 